On the heat watch, the soaring temperatures we're seeing are melting the glaciers on Mount Shasta. The melting is causing mud and debris to cascade down the mountain. The U.S. Forest Service says it's likely to happen again. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman shows us how the combination of heat and the lack of snow are resulting in a pretty dangerous situation. That's right, Alicia. We talked at four about that, uh, the heat and also the lack of snowpack that's had such an impact. But there's another concern in the days ahead that could make for even bigger debris flows and lahars. Just off Highway 97, crews continue to work this week along the Whitney Creek drainage to clear it after a series of debris flows caused by the Mount Shasta glaciers. It is, it is concerning and we just, once things kind of became active this summer, we've just had these uh, continuous like surges coming through on, you know, sometimes a daily basis. Hydrologist Tyana Blachik says the heat and the lack of snowpack this summer to insulate the glaciers have left them vulnerable to melting and causing these debris and mud flows. The flows have not crossed over Highway 97 yet, but the forecast is a cause for concern for the U.S. Forest Service. Further mud flows are, are certainly possible. If, uh, you know, if we continue to see what we've been seeing, most of the mud flows have been small to medium in size. Um, but if the, a, a big one were to come down, obviously it could do more damage and, uh, to roads and trails and, and highways. Lead climber Nick Meyer says on top of the heat waves, thunderstorms can greatly increase the risk for debris and mud flows. I think one of the big red flags is anytime we get a, a rain event over, you know, situated over the mountain, um, that definitely exacerbates things and can kind of essentially lubricate uh, everything up there and, and cause another mud flows. These debris flows can be very powerful, sending large boulders and logs rumbling down the mountain. They're even picked up by the USGS seismic network on Mount Shasta. You can actually hear them. You can hear the, the rocks coming down the mountain and, and rumbling essentially down the drainage before it usually gets to you. So and they do pick up some of the seismic signals of these debris flows um, on in their monitoring. So we've we've been you know talking and keeping in touch, and they let us know, and they think they've seen something you know in their monitoring that looks like a debris flow signal, and we try to verify that. These scientists hope to use the seismic data to better understand these debris flows and hopefully develop an early warning system for people on the mountain. In the meantime, the exact timing of these flows can be hard to predict. So Forest Service, they recommend if you're spending time on the mountain, be aware of your surroundings. At 6, I'll dig into the state of the glaciers on the mountain.